Hi, everybody. It's Bill, and I'm here today with uh, with Bob, and we're going to talk about things that really get us going when we play the first track of uh, of an album. It really gets us uh, motored or uh, thinking or whatever. Bob's going to talk about a, a band uh, from Los Angeles. They put out a record in 1967. You may have heard of them. Uh, what do you got, Bob? Okay. Uh, thanks, Bill. I've got uh, the debut album by The Doors, and I want to talk about the first track on that album, uh, Break On Through. In high school, you know, I didn't fit in to any of the cliques we had. And I'm looking for my identity, trying to figure out who I am. The Doors came to my attention with their final Morrison release, L.A. Woman. And by this time, I'm a junior in high school. and I'm really into music. And I got that album and I liked it. And I wanted to go back and check out their other discography. So I get their debut album and I put this thing on the turntable and out starts break on through with this really cool bossa nova beat. And you're hearing it on one side of the stereo channel. And then suddenly other stuff starts kicking in. And now we've got it coming in on the other channel. And Morrison starts singing these lyrics. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side, yeah. And this song just washed over me. And... This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to break through to the other side to figure out who I am. Where am I going with my life? And I'm hearing rock music as poetry. I'm hearing rock music as literature. I'm hearing a rock singer channeling William Blake. And the song just spoke to me. And I became mesmerized by this album. Every song on here, I think, is just incredible. And and the musical variety. I've got a rock band with um, influence by jazz, Baroque music, flamingo music, classical guitar. I've got uh, a lyricist and a singer, you know, who's a poet. And it, it just enveloped me. And... Break On Through has become probably one of my favorite Door songs. Uh, it was initially released as a single off the album, but it kind of tanked. But now, over the decades, it's been recognized as one of their better songs. Uh, the Doors' debut album is their best-selling album. According to Wikipedia, it sold like 13 million copies by 2015. And uh, there's such a variety of music on here. We've got a band covering a song from Bertold Bertold Brecht and Kurt Wheel from the late 1920s Weimar Germany. Uh, They do classic blues with Bully Dixon's Backdoor Man. And then um, we get to the end, the final song on this album. And I'm listening to this song. And it starts out as a very sweet, evocative goodbye song. You have the beauty of the end, the sung part of it. Then we get into what's called the Oedipal section, where it's spoken. And Morrison talks about paying a visit to the family um, and actually killing his dad. And I had this very dysfunctional relationship with my dad. And when I heard that, it was such a catharsis. What a release to hear somebody else, you know, with the same feelings that I had. So this album, even decades later, still just speaks to me on such an incredible personal level. And it changed my life. And as my one of my best friends from high school that I still see regularly said, man, you became a Doors fanatic. And I did. I wrote term papers in contemporary issues class, you know, about the doors. I mean, I, I I read and devoured everything I could find about them. 
this is in the days when I'd go to the library and dig through the microfiche machines, you know, looking up uh, back copies from magazines and stuff to to read. You get that immediate connection when the connection is, uh, uh, you know, matching up with some of the things that maybe you need on the other side, whether it's, you know, uh, reinforcement or or whatever the case might be. But obviously when it grabs you, it grabs you. And uh, it, it obviously it did. did here. It did, big time. Yeah. Playboy for some hush puppy shoes. One more time. 